Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are restoring a 1971 Evil Weevil. It was available in a few colors. Came with a sticker sheet. It's basically a blown out Volkswagen. It has two metal engines. One in the front, one in the back. Very similar to the Sweet 16 uh, custom Volkswagen, but not quite. Uh, uh, the evil weevil is narrower skinnier however you want to call it the windshield is similar but like i said the Volkswagen is wider so uh, this car does not have any posts the posts are the metal engines so i had to drill out of the engines and that's where the screws are gonna go 172 you can see this model has the cap wheels and the axle is stupid long it's too long and it's all bent out of shape we are going to fix that now I do not have the correct axle wire so I'm gonna reuse that one I'm gonna straighten it out and use it so here is the windshield as you know I have a video uh, on how to restore it and if you watch the Volkswagen video you can see it's very similar it even has the same type of uh, sunroof but like I said the custom Volkswagen is wider so the windshield is bigger you can see the seat here has a steering wheel which still has a piece of plastic around the steering wheel and it's supposed to click into place but it's no longer doing that so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue down there just to hold it in place as uh, the steering wheel will, will actually flip up and prevent the sunroof from closing so that's what I'm gonna do put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place as you can see the numbers on the doors are actually vinyl they're not paper and you can find them with numbers ranging from one to nine i'm actually not a big fan of the numbers so i'm restoring this uh evil weevil without a number it's something that in the future i could just add not a big deal they are kind of tough to get out like i said there's only, let me see, three, four, five, six, seven. It was only available in eight different colors. A blue being one of the most common ones. But it's not going to be blue for very long. So here, this is how it looks after the paint remover. I haven't done anything to the chassis yet. You can still see I'm missing a cap wheel. This is two engines and this is how it looks after the electro polish remember I have a video on how the electro polish system works this is the base also cleaned up on the electro polish I have a link down below if you want to get or find out uh, the wire size correct wire size for uh, the red lines apparently I lost the footage where I cut the tip of the axle so basically I just cut one side and slid it out and using the needle nose pliers I try to strain out the wire as much as I can as you can see I already did the front so I'm just putting it back together in the back it is not perfect because the wire it's impossible to get straight but it's not every day that you have to uh, fix a red line axle maybe in the future I'll buy a pack of the wire and uh, fix it there you can see the method of uh, using the fencing pliers to pinch the end then I cut the excess luckily it had a very long wire and now it's just all back into place 
Now all we got to do is replace the the cap wheels, which I'm going with uh, cap wheels from Bright Vision, and they are deep dish. Cause you you should know by now that I like deep dish wheels. I even had a footage where I thought I was recording when I removed the original one, so I guess I didn't. So there they are. Now the chassis is fixed. Better than factory. This is the casting with uh, two, three coats of base coat from the Red Line shop. It did look good, but I want to make sure none of that uh, toning comes back. And as you can see, I'm holding everything down with a 256 long screw and a couple of washers and nut. So this is the interior. There you can see I placed a little bit of glue there holding everything in place. Restore windshield. And the color is magenta, one of the most uh, rare ones. Actually, purple is the rarest of them all. But I don't have any purple. So this is what we started with. And this is the finished product. What do you think? Thing came out pretty damn nice if you ask me but I want to know what you think all right guys that's gonna be it thank you for watching I was very tempted very very tempted on painting in the, the headlights but it's a restoration so I didn't do it once again remember to subscribe hit that little bell so you can get notified of any upcoming videos thank you for watching peace out next online on the restoration block should be the custom mustang peace out